still got more coming from that way, but let me just show you if I spin the camera. Another day, another adventure. Oh yeah, it's also rained a lot, so it is very bouncy and very slippery today. So this morning we are hunting down some elephants. They are just over there and they're in the open, which is great. Because in the last video, they were in the woodland and I found it very difficult to get any photos. But hopefully this morning will be a better day. So we have just found the elephants. They're walking on the road and they're heading right towards us. Beautiful. May not be the best sunrise today, but still magical. What a way to start the morning. I mean, they just came right up to the Jeep, walked around us, looked around, and I'm just watching them walk down the road. Photographically, again, found it difficult. I don't like having any man-made elements, so there was a road in it. But, I mean, that's something I'll, I'll remember for life. I don't need a photo to remember that. was amazing but the sunrise is just happening behind me right now so we're going to spend some time with these elephants and hopefully we can get a good photo. Uh, no, a little, little in front, try and get the sun on the side of them when they're coming towards us. Yeah, yeah that, that's lovely. Perfect. Chorus again putting the Jeep in the best position. Good man. <laughs> The elephants are just over here, yeah. and we're going to wait for them to come towards us. Yes. I've got a wide lens on. The clouds over there, amazing. Yeah. So hopefully we get some golden sun bursting through, but it's not looking likely. So we're just going to sit here and wait for the elephants. I think you can make them out in this square here. They don't like to do anything particularly quickly. Again, so peaceful. But compare this to the last video, and I can see way more photos here than I could when they're in the forest. Even though there was nicer light then, the fact that they're open, they really stand out. And there's quite a big herd. I mean, how many would you say? Most likely like 40, 50 of them. 40, 50? Yeah. That's quite a few. Yeah. Just realised that last shot you couldn't see Karos. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's here. Yeah. <laughs> put the Jeep in a great spot. Yeah. And they are starting to come towards us, so I'm going to get ready. Oh, I'm hoping you can. And we've got a Dugger boy. Yeah. <laughs> Dugger boys are what they call lone buffalo. Yeah. They're males that have been kicked out of the herd. Yeah. Quite dangerous. Proceed with caution. now 
surrounded by elephants. We've still got more coming from that way, but let me just show you if I spin the camera. I'm thinking these guys they are going to cross the river to Mara Triangle so maybe I'll ask my friend if he can just follow them in front and let me see if they are going to cross the river. So Chorus is thinking that this herd of elephants is going to cross the Mara River which would be amazing to see but also could be a great photo opportunity. It's quite difficult to catch up to animals at the moment because the roads are so slippery that you can't really get anywhere very quickly and it's a bit a bit bouncy this morning <laughs> see a little bouncy yeah. so we just got to the Mara River and Chorus was saying this is where the elephants like to cross it's one of the few places where you can get out of your Jeep and I'm sure you can hear we're not alone there's quite a lot of hippos around We're rushing back to the Jeep as we just had a call from one of the other guides from Governors that hyenas are eating. Well, that was great with the hyenas. Don't think I got any good photos, but just hearing the sound of them crunching the bones was amazing. Really eerie as well. But I think that's it for this video. I'm gonna head back to camp and have some breakfast. If you like this video and wanna watch another one, then let me know. But until then, have a good one. <laughs>